Hello there, kids. That is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Fable 2. All right, and we left off. We had, uh, just started doing this wonderful little costume party with, uh, well, <laughs> Hollow Men and Balverines and Hobbs, because those are the costumes that are really only applicable, I guess, to this whole shenanigans. So... We're trying to bring wisps over to a sarcophagus that is shaped like a skull, but he claims that he was a honorable knight when he was alive, and I am also calling shenanigans on that. So, okay. Need to turn my head down a bit. It's a little loud. Okay. There we go. Now we're just killing them, because of course we are. Might as well. Because that's the really only option we've got. He's got a lucky shot at him. Oh, maybe he can't. Ow. Fuck. Fuck you. Gotcha. Bitch. That was beautiful. Only got hit like five or six times. <laughs> okay, it was more like two or three. I'm just being a modest little shit. Anyway, um. Is that the one I need, or...? Beware the poison river. You are far too corporeal to cross it safely. True. Maybe... Maybe I need him to put the weight down. Maybe that's what it is. Huh. Well, that didn't work. Maybe let's try him blowing up this rock. The necromancer who oh. imprisoned me had a macabre sense of humor. Oh, yeah? And a twisted love for costume parties. Yeah, kind it of. It was his belief that no that. hero would ever stoop to wearing such ridiculous outfits. And so, I would be trapped here forever. That's fucked up. But also, there's the fact that I am shameless <laughs> after four years of this shit, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, anyway, there we go. This guy would be able to walk over it. Yeah, there we go. Now I think about it. If he's willing to be faster, that'd be nice. He stands on it. That would work. Get over there. There we go. He's able to walk over the poison and not get poisoned. Okay. I was about to say when he died, I was like, what? More wisps cutting through the air. Oh, you don't say. of sunshine. Bring them to me. Well, then, I'll do that eventually. Right now, Doggo has a dig spot for me. I have a feeling this is off the mark. Okay, it worked. Good. Thank God. Oh, toy horse. Yay. Wonderful. Now, let's bring this guy over to, uh... Thing. Oops. He just dies in the water. Really? not supposed to happen, I don't think. How am I supposed to get over there? Huh. Oh, jeez. I move the alarm so it doesn't screw up recording. It ends up screwing recording up anyway. Okay, well, that's embarrassing. Let's blow that up so I... What? What? <laughs> the explosion was done. I walk forward, gives a little bit left to just knock me into the river. <laughs> what? That makes no sense. There we go. Mad trader model. Okay, uh, I wonder what uh, this means. Should noisy children interfere with your business, a good scare will soon drive them away. Oh, okay. 
So you just need to make them think that you're insane. Okay, gotcha. Alright, um... <laughs> nothing but professionalism here. <laughs> Alarm goes off and then that fucking... <laughs> goof up with the explosion, because of course that's a thing. Okay, point and left. That's clearly what this is. A there we go. <laughs> and there we go. Here's the wisp. Oh, yeah. I gotta be undead for that. Oh, boy. Let's keep going to the Celestial Keep. I guess that's where we're supposed to be going. Ah uh ha ho! Ain't that convenient. Alright, well. Is this the last one, or do we need to get more? Thank you, witless mortal. I know it. You have granted me my freedom. Uh huh. I fucking knew it. Now, I will grant you the greatest gift of all death! I would figure a million dollars would be better, honestly. I'll just keep shooting him. How about that? I'll give you your gun. That was really beautiful. I'll kill them like they're no problem. Okay. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Eventually killed him. Hey! The costume party. The necromancer's tricks were all in vain and really fucking obvious. As his resurrection was followed swiftly by his death. The skull is cursed no more and will bring no misfortune upon others. Here's hoping. I'm gonna try and grab all of this before I leave. There we go. Outstanding. What? 135%. I wasn't hit once. I deserve more. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it. That's fine. I'll just leave then. So I don't think there's any other treasure in here. I don't think. Someone will point it out in the comments that I'm wrong. <laughs> and uh, I will find out eventually. I had to move the microphone a bit. It was a little off filter from where it was supposed to be. Whoop. That's quite remarkable. Another yeah. successful exorcism. Yeah? Okay. That skull will make a perfect paperweight. Lovely stuff. Ah, good. No sign of the vision granting object as yet, but mm -hmm. you're bound to find something else worth your while in my caravan of delights. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Special offer on magic apples. You never know what you'll find inside. Magic <laughs> apples. <laughs> okay. Not one worm, two worms. Ah, 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 ah. Because that's what we're doing. We're just counting them. All right. Now that I'm done with that, and all the good stuff has Crane been done. could lift a mountain. Oh, hi there. Don't you oh, something? Hello. Uh, I'm just a common citizen person. Uh, the kind you see every day around these parts. Uh-huh. Wait, you're one of them, aren't you? An adventuring hero fighter thingy. Oh, good. Fighter thingy. Sure. The chieftain made me memorize a speech. Let's see. Okay. My name is Gordon. I come from Not Whole Island, which is in dire need of your help. 
Rather Winter monotonous. has gripped our land, and only someone valiant enough to recover the mystical summer stone can save us. Okay. I impassionately plead that you aid us in Good our time job of need. On that one. Not bad, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I bought some gifts from the island too, if that helps to convince you. Well, I mean Will you come then? Yeah, but give me a moment to change out of this thing. Cause fucking hell. <laughs> I don't wanna be wearing this anymore. Uh where's clothing? Where's clothing? Uh jeez. Oh, and it all counts as actual clothing too. Oh, and it cuts down my attractiveness intensely. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Fucking hell. <laughs> Definitely need to change this. Yeesh. And I don't have a shirt. <laughs> I figured that would happen. <laughs> Jeez, look at me. Fucking Kylo Renning over here. <laughs> Wait, I have to take the coat off to Kylo Ren it. <laughs> no, I have to go to no coat. There we go. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I'm a jackass. Okay. <laughs> Let's just put the fucking thing on, eh? There we go. Put that on. Put that on. And there we go. Now I look normal ish. <laughs> oh jeez. That was embarrassing. Oh, now you love me more. How about that? I like what I see. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You only want me for my body. Fucking, let's do it. If you're worried about my submarine, I can tell you it's almost perfectly safe. I invented it myself. It's not um, reassuring? No, not really. Oh, it's not that's reassuring. A relief. But, let's I mean, go. I'll go anyway. Mm. I hope my submarine can hold two people. You didn't design it to hold two people? One burned calorie potion. What? You'll probably lose more weight if you breathed in hard. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, then I uh, will keep that in mind. Not that I'm going to use it. Just take it. Solar shielding spectacles. It's only found on Not Whole Island. When Gordon, the not whole glade inventor, decided he would one day fly into the heart of the sun, why would you do that? He reasoned he would need some sort of protection against the glare. Yeah, that's that's the thing you need to worry about. The protection from the glare. Sure. Fucking Icarus. <laughs> Though these glasses were never put to their intended use, they proved useful to players of the popular Guess What Color My Eyes Are. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> That's a thing. Not Whole Island, Volume 1. Okay. One of ten. So I guess we need to find ten. Hundreds of years ago, the tribe from Not Whole Glade discovered the existence of an island far off the mainland, said to offer its inhabitants full control over the weather. Tired of constant balverine attacks and damp, dreary weather... Well, that makes sense, considering. Not Whole Glade. That was from the first game. And not whole island, I guess, is the different thing entirely. That makes sense. The tribe's elders decided... Ugh, barely could say that. They would find this mythic island and settle there. This volume of their history describes the struggle to convince all tribal members to join the Great Journey. Why would it be such a struggle? Oh, an assassin gloves. That's good. Only found on not whole island? Why? What better protection for your hands when you're holding a poison dagger? Also highly useful for taking roast out of the oven. <laughs> Yay! That's what I care about. Not whole night boots? Mm. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. When the warriors of Not Whole Island first began to die out, the local blacksmith created a spectacular armor so anyone might enter the weather shrines. If only the people from the village had been able to walk while wearing these rather heavy boots, he might have been onto something. <laughs> Maybe. They don't look like they're that heavy. I think you're overreacting. Ah, uh, they might be 
relatively heavy, but not that bad. Are they all weaklings Choose or something? Your moniker by a title. No. I already have a good title. Plus, you were trying to hit on me earlier. I'm married. Damn it, Jim. God damn it, Jim. Okay, then. Hey, would you like to go on a cruise? Well, not entirely planning on it, but... You'll find the chieftain in his office at the center of town. You can't miss him. Okay. I'll be waiting here if you need to go back to the mainland. Alrighty. But I'm pretty sure I can just do that myself with fast travel. Oh, hi. Yo. Treasure chest covered in ice. That's not good for me. I kind of need treasure. And it makes the whole thing worthwhile. Attenuated will potion. I'll take it. There we go. Jeez, this is... Well, this is pretty much Oregon now. <laughs> Covered in snow and frost and... Bleh. Well, hi there. Oh, I need to be oh, delighted to see mean you. to you to get your gift. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be overly mean for no reason. Yes, I did that in <laughs> on purpose. I did that incorrectly on purpose. That's what I was trying to say. Well, well then. There's some things going on here. Stranger. What the? Run. Examine property. I just forgot. <laughs> now I remembered. I can buy every building here. <laughs> oh boy. Run. This is going to be fun. Wow. Gordon actually did it. He brought a hero to the island. That he did. You're I am the a first hero. outsider in months to step into the box of secrets, where every item is a mystery, and every purchase a surprise. Really? Not that there's many mysteries on the shelves these days. Oh, yeah? A band of lost pirates bought half of my stock, and with this weather, I haven't been able to replace it. Hmm. You never know what you might find, though. You'll notice each package has a note telling you what exotic item you need to trade for it. Oh, yeah? The rules are on the sign anyway. Have fun! The rules are on the sign anyway. Huh. What do we got here? Marriage and how to survive it. Damn it! <laughs> that sexy garment. Okay. Sure. Pretty necklace for a rebellious costume. Right. Murderous attire for puny carrots. Okay. A lovely hairdo for table wine. Well, that's unusual. I thought I had some. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I don't. And this entire room is empty for the time being. All right, well, that'll have to be done the later. The warehouse where I keep my best items has frozen solid. Until it thaws, what you see here is all there is. Fair enough. Well, I'll keep that in mind. All right. Well, that sounds good. Also, what do you mean bringing the sun back? No, not fair. Hi there, um, stone cutter. I haven't been able to get to my stock. Oh. So you're not really a vendor until then. Well, that sucks. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I'll have to uh, help this town then. Because I don't really have a choice now, do I? But can buy out all of these properties. I might as well do that. Wait a minute. What was... Just bodybuilder. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. That still counts as stealing. Damn it. Hi there. Didn't expect you to just walk over to me like that. Well, that's a thing. Also, you're holding a box. Don't you think you should be doing the job that you're probably paid for? I presume... Get in there? No. Well then. Fuck me, I guess. Oh, a general goods store. Well, let's buy this up. Fortune's Tower? Well, okay. There we are. Let's dig this up and then I'll talk you to the general it. goods trader. 
That is quite an impressive coat you have on, my man. Hey, another attenuated will potion. I will take that. It is useful. Let's see what they got. Oh, anything that's good to have you back. New or different? Don't think I need those. <laughs> I think I have enough. The Perv's Handbook, because of course, it's an expression manual. Learn how to sway your. Okay, my controller batteries are dying, I guess. Learn how to sway your hips and shake that ass like the true sexual deviant you are. <laughs> oh, Lionhead. Oh, you're too good to me. <laughs> I'll take it. That's a fine item. I'll take it. The gangrene fairy. The most powerful gut rot inducing alcohol things. in Albion. Those who imbibe this silky acid are likely to see things that are not there, such as pixies, walking tulips, and tiny people baking biscuits. Okay, sure. Why not? Wow, it's got quite a lot of healing points for a booze. Um. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's a fine item. Belching for beginners. This is an expression manual. Do you find your social life suffers from your inability to burp? This book will teach you how in one easy step. <laughs> sure. Sure. That's there you go. It. The art of seduction. To learn the seduce expression. Learn the sophisticated secrets of Albion's greatest lovers. Right. That's a fun Dead idea. handy. Oh, jeez. That's, that's an unfortunate name. <laughs> Norbert the Narcoleptic invites you to join <laughs> Albion's cra latest craze. Pretending to be dead. Try it. You might like it. Sure. That's a fine item. A luxury desk table. You Did can't I do better than one? that. I don't think I did. I might as well grab it. That's a fine item. Treasure hunting. The finger. Sometimes the only way to let someone know how you feel is to show them a finger. You should the one in the middle is usually the best. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll take That's it. That's a fine item. Luxury cupboard. <laughs> if you own this, you'll likely have servants who use this far more than you. <laughs> wow. I recommend purchasing this. That's a description. This. Come hither, dear. I know I have that one. Sock it to him. Ah, uh, don't think I have this one. Entertain children and easily pleased adults by pretending that your hand is actually that. a person. It's amazing. Yeah, sure. Why not? Come back anytime. Let's go with that. All right. Sell clothing that I don't need, which is absolutely the hob boots. Uh. Hollow Man suit stuff. I absolutely will Always not be happens. wearing all of that stuff Come again. If you have anything else to Always happy there to go. buy unwanted items. That and Always that. Happy to buy your unwanted items. And that should be it. I might sell the assassin gloves too. Yeah. Come back if you have everything else, else is fine. I'll keep all that. There we are. Sell all that off and buy. Oh, I can't buy this one. Sad. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we're over time and we need to dive into this entirely in one episode because, fuck, <laughs> this is going to be a long one. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and... Well, finishing off <laughs> a cursed skull that was indeed cursed by a necromancer, like I assumed from the fucking beginning, and going to Knothole Island to eventually lift whatever curse they currently have, which causes winter forever for you. <laughs>